when you did your work, did the dogs remain in the house contained in that spot? Yes. So clearly, your son had put the dogs in the contained no, area. No, I contained the dogs before I went. Is what you're telling me your son didn't take the dogs out for three weeks? No, he took them out, but well, he, that's what he I'm put saying them back in, a, in that's the what contained I'm saying. area. That's exactly what yes. I'm saying to you. So yes. on the date that he came and spoke to your son, your 54-year-old son, that he's not damaged, is he, in no. any way, mentally? No. So he knew that he was coming in to stain the floors. And I'm sure he had walked the dogs that day, the night before he had walked the dog, because he was staying at your house, you said, for three weeks. Yes. So he knew where they were coming. And I assume he also feeds the cat. Yes, he does. And changes the cat litter. Yes. Great. So that he knew there was a cat there. Yes. So he contains the dogs. Yes. Because he knows he's coming. Your son contains the dogs, but clearly did not contain the cat. My son claims that he did not speak with Mr. Wynn on that day. Then you should have brought your son. Who did you bring with you? My sister. Well, what did you bring your sister for instead of bringing your son? Your son can tell me what the conversation was. You can't tell me what the conversation was. The objective data is your 54-year-old son, who you were leaving in a responsible position to take care of your four dogs and one cat, saw this man come in. He contained the dogs because he had to, at some point, have taken them out and put them back and realized that he had to keep them contained because he was coming to stain the floors. But he didn't think to contain the cat. Where do you keep the cat litter? In the laundry room. Good. So laundry room have a door? Yes, yes, it does. Then you put the cat in the laundry room with the cat litter, water, food, period. That's what he, because that's, he knows that because he's been taking care of them for three weeks. Is this the first time your son took care of your animals? Yes, it is. Well, you must have had tremendous confidence in him if you left him for three weeks. So he well, didn't use his noodle. Not him. Your son didn't use his brains. Yes. I was not informed of what Mr. Wynn was going to do. I spoke with him on August 10th when he was at the house working on the floor. So I told him at that time, I said, remember I told you I'm going on vacation and I'm leaving next Saturday for the cabin, so you need to keep me in the loop of what, what you're going to do. If I had known he was going to stain the floors, I believe it was my responsibility to board the cat, which I would have done. And he didn't keep me informed of what was going on or when things were going to happen. Listen to me. You hired him and you gave him access to your house. You gave him access to your house so clearly. You look like a lady who likes to be in charge. If he was doing a shoddy job, you wouldn't have given him access to your house and a key to your house. That's how much you trusted him. You also gave your son the authority to do whatever was necessary in your home because you left him alone there for three weeks with your animals to take care of four dogs and one cat. And a 54-year-old man, when he comes in and says, I'm going to finish the floors, he contains the dogs, and then he takes the cat, and he puts the cat in the laundry room with a bowl of water and some friskies and the cat litter, and he checks the floors, he checks the dogs, takes the dogs out, He's careful. And you have, again, to, pay, you have to pay him. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. Your counterclaims dismissed. We're done.